gave us a soul. Being Israel is a blessing, but them nations took a heaven. Bring our songs on 47, nigga. He gave us a soul. I'm talking criminal soldiers just like some victuals. More than just individuals. Hoping you get the visuals. He gave us a soul. Like I iterated before, we are here for the 12 tribes of Israel. You blacks, Hispanics, and native Indians, you make up the 12 tribes of Israel. That's right. The laws, statutes, and commandments weren't given to everybody. They were only given to a certain set of people. But we've been programmed to do things differently. This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 58, verse 1. Cry aloud, spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet, and show my people their transgression, and the house of Jacob their sins. So we are here to show you your transgression. We are here to bring you back to the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. That's our reasonable service. Out here for our people. Everybody not depressed. We're the only ones that are depressed. That's because our people broke the laws, statutes, and commandments of the Most High God. And with that, that's how we curses fell upon us. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. These be the words Moses spake to all Israel. The whole world was not with Moses. Read that again. These are be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel on this side of Jordan in the wilderness, in the plain over against the Red Sea between Perrin and Tophel and Liban and Hezron and Dizahab. Now, was the whole world in the wilderness with Moses? Who was with Moses when Moses got the commandments of the Most High God? Was the Europeans with Moses in the wilderness? Was the so-called Arab man in the wilderness? Was the China man in the wilderness with Moses? No. Y'all don't, y'all don't make us fight. But we made a covenant with God. We made a covenant with the Most High God. We could choose curses or blessings. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. See the Bible say, cursed shall I be in the city, and cursed in the field. Were not people cursed in the fields? When they had to work up from sun up to sundown and didn't get paid? Then if they didn't bring in enough, whatever they was cropping on, they get the hands or the feet chopped off. Are we cursing the city today? Are we discriminate on? Last high, first fight. They shoot us down in the street. Ain't we a cursed generation? For over 400 years, we've been oppressed. But we love our oppressors, but everybody hate the so-called black man. Why is that? Why is that everybody hate us and we love everybody? That's because we've been programmed. Our slave masters program us to do that. They program us to celebrate Christmas, Thanksgiving, and Easter. We're programmed to do that. We're programmed to go to their colleges, their high schools. What about our nationality? What about where we come from? Why when they talk history, they only go back to the slavery? What happened to our people in the land they was in before they
they got on the slave ship? Why they won't teach that? Why they don't teach you your true nationality? Why they won't teach you that? This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 7, verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. See, we were chosen to be a special people above all people. We are not equal to anyone. We were chosen to be a special people above all people upon the face of the earth. It's 18 different nations on this earth. And the Most High God choose you, black, black man, to be above all the nations on this earth. So why are we not above all the nations? That's called our forefathers' sin. We don't want to keep the commandments of the Most High God. The same way today, we want to do what we want to do. A lot of but a lot of times, you're not going to hear this in your Christian church. The pastor ain't going to tell you that you are the children of Israel. The pastor ain't going to tell you the angel's black, the prophet's black. The pastor ain't going to tell you that. The pastor ain't going to tell you the true meaning of the tithe. Tithing was never about money. Tithing was about your food, your crops, and wine. The Most High God never said for your pastors to get rich and you poor. Show me the scriptures where we had to celebrate Christmas when Christ was born December 25th. Show me the scriptures that said that. That Christ was born in the dead of the winter. Show me a scripture that say Christ was born on December 25th. Yes, we got $200 right now. Open your Bible and show us where Christ was born December 25th. It don't matter what year. Just show me the day and say December 25th. And why your pastor lie to you, say the laws are done away with. So why is your pastor keep telling you the laws are done away with? Well, let's see what the book say. And why the pastor won't tell you that Saturday is the seventh day? This is the book of Baruch, chapter four, verse one. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endureth forever. Wait a minute, how long the law endure for? Forever. The Bible say the law endureth forever. That's right. How long is forever? Forever have no ending. Hmm. So why do the pastor tell you that the laws are done away with? Bring it out. That's just to keep you in the midst of sin. As long as you in the midst of sin, our oppressors gonna always be over us. But when we come out here to tell you this truth, you don't want to hear that. Because you've been programmed to hear a lie. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endure forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Such as said leave it shall die. You're going to die when you stop doing the commandments. Stop keeping the law. We got the week we come out here and our people keep breaking the Sabbath by going to the 2K every week. They just called y'all don't know the seventh day is the seventh day of the Most High God. That's right. We supposed to keep this day holy. It's supposed to be no buying, selling, or none of that on this day. Y'all pastors ain't telling y'all that. But destruction coming to y'all pastors. And destruction coming to y'all, because y'all following y'all pastors, and y'all don't read. They say if you want to hide something from a black man, you put it in a book. But one thing about us up here, we the men of God, we gonna teach this word. That's right. We gonna bring this truth out to it, whether you want to hear it or not. And you can't stop that. 
This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20, verse 8. Remember the Sabbath day. Do what? Remember the Sabbath day. So what? The most I had to say, remember the Sabbath day. Because he know we was going to forget. Huh. He know that once we get over here in a land that we didn't know, that these people going to start teaching us all day holidays. That we're going to forget our tradition, our heritage. Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. <coughs> In it thou shalt not do any work, nor, nor, nor thy son, nor thy daughter, thy manservant, nor thy maidservant, nor thy cattle, nor thy stranger that's within thy gates. We ain't supposed to be doing no work. And if you had a business, your business ain't supposed to do no work. Neither show your work. This is the Sabbath day. So why people don't keep the Sabbath day? Why your pastors ain't telling y'all to keep the Sabbath day? He's supposed to went to that so-called cemetery school. Yeah, cemetery school where he didn't learn nothing about the Bible. Your pastors have them a prosperity teachers. Teaching you how to prosper. So a seed. If you sow a seed, guess what? Something gonna come out the ground. Not out of his pocket. The seed he talking about, he's putting it in his pocket. His pocket growing, cause you started putting that seed in your pastor's pocket. Con, con. It never meant for the pastor to be rich. Tell your pastor to get him a job. Ain't you got a job? Let your pastor get him a job. Mm. Christ had a job. You say you want to do what Christ do? Christ kept the commandments. Christ kept the Sabbath day holy. Christ kept Pentecost. Christ kept new moon feast. So why you ain't keep it? You say you love Paul. Paul followed Christ. Christ did what the Most High God commanded him to do. So when y'all go to church tomorrow, I tell you what, take a bunch of cabbages and rice and vegetables and tell your pastor, it was tired. It was tired to read about right here. Hey brother, you got a minute? Hey young brother, what, young brother with the shoes on. He said he's busy right Young brother, now. hey. He said he's busy right now. You got a minute? No. You ain't got a minute for the most high God? I'll be back. I'm, be right I'm trying to tell you something you know, that's going to save your life, bro. See, we ain't supposed to be buying nothing out of that store on the Sabbath. The day is a high holy yeah, day. Yeah, you going yeah, in that store, you're breaking ass. God's command. See, our people don't want to hear that. So when that judgment come down on them, they going to say they ain't know. Yeah, but the most high say, I have my prophets out there on for it to have them. And they're going to stop you from going in that store. But you say you didn't have time. So guess what? The most high ain't gonna have time for you. He won't have time? He won't have time? No, he ain't got time. They don't have time. They hate the word of God. They hate this truth coming out. But if we pass that Jay-Z tickets, this parking lot be full over here. John 15 and 22. Yeah, John 15, 22. He said, when they come out, pass out. Y'all gotta give account for breaking the most high Sabbath, going in that store over there. You ain't gotta take it from me, but that judgment gonna come down on you. I'm trying to tell you something to save your life. Look at John, chapter 15, verse 22. If I had not come and spoken unto them, they had not had sin. But now they have no cloak for their sin. He that hateth me, hateth my father also. See, him that hateth Christ, hateth his father. We hate correction. We hate what's doing right. We got the week, we come out here and try to find the real man of God. You say you're a man, a real man of God, keep the commandments. 
I done heard some women say, I want a God-fearing man. That's a man that keeps the commandments. They don't want no fake thugs. They want a real man. But we see a lot of fake thugs out here. We're looking for the real men of God. We're looking for the real man. They're going to get in one way. They're going to take their ass back. They're going to help out with this community. Psalms 94 and 16. Who will rise up for me? I get, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Who will stand up for the Most High God? Who will stand up for God? You say you love God, well stand up for God. Who will stand up for workers of iniquity? But when some judgment come down on that first thing you say, oh Lord, oh God. You call upon God's name, but he don't hear you. The most high God don't hear sinners. So when you go in them churches on Sundays, playing them tambourines, them drums, jumping up and down, running up and down in the miles, like out on the track field, the most high God don't hear none of that. This is not, this is not America, it's not our homeland. Y'all need to wake up to that. Our forefathers and foremothers were brought over here on slave ships against their will. Did y'all not know that? We were forced to work from sun up to sun down. Did y'all know that? Did y'all know that they used our babies for gator bait when they wanted to catch an alligator? That they would set our babies down in the water and pat the water? And the alligators would come up and get the babies? And if they didn't catch the alligator, hell, you just lost the son or daughter. Then they go get another one. Did you not know what picnic was? We like to go on picnics. You know the true meaning of picnic? Is they used to pick a nigga to hang it. That's pick a nigga and hang it. That's what they call picnic. And you brothers like the way y'all pants sagging down below your butt. You know where they get that from? Well, let me tell you where they get that from. Where the slave owners used to butt break their slaves. Oh, yeah, they be eating it up. Yeah, butt break. They used to have sex with their male slaves. So they made a way they passed down below. So when the other slave master seen them, they know they was butt broke. You take that up and think that's some kind of style. Put your pants down below. No, ain't nothing new on the side. So when I see you, one of you brothers and not kind of try to correct you, you don't want to hear. It. So I just naturally think that you're homosexual. Homosexual not getting into the kingdom of God. Bring it out, Leviticus. Liars, homeowners, robbers, thieves, they're not getting into the kingdom of the most high God. So that's why we are here to tell you to turn from your wicked ways and start keeping these laws. Leviticus 20 and 13. Oh. If a man also lie with mankind, as if a man lie with another man, as he lie with the woman, as he lie down with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They surely, they sure, they shall surely be put to death. Oh. You shall surely be put to death. Man with man, woman with woman. Well, see, we think that's, well, they done made it legal for a man to marry a man, a woman to marry a woman. That's man law. That's not God's law. God. Then we come out here and tell you, say, you in the midst of sin, then you don't want to hear. Then the first thing you say, well, what book that is? White man wrote that book. Yeah. Hell, all the time you was going to school, you didn't ask the people about their book. Uh. Yeah. When you go to church on Sunday, you don't ask the pastor about his book. But dude, when you see us up here, and you see us going to pages and bring this truth out, then you want to question this book. Mm. You want to question this proof, this truth. That's because you ain't never heard this truth before. Deuteronomy 18, verse 9. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God gives thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. See, we ain't gonna be doing what the other nations do once when Christ come back. 
You either gonna get with the program or you gonna get your head chopped off. Uh -huh. We hate order. We hate doing, we hate somebody correcting us. Cause we think we know it all. First Corinthians chapter 11, verse three. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of Christ is God. And every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. But every woman that prays or prophesies with her head uncovered, dishonoreth her head. For that is even all one as if she were shaped. We are coming find out. Come and find out, sister. Don't ride around in search. Don't ride around in search and talk. Come out here and talk with us. That we're judging. Come on. Come on. Come on so we can get some real history. You can take off them damn pants you got on thinking you a man. <laughs> That's what's wrong with you. That's what's wrong with the household. The woman that's going to raise a boy to be a man. No, you need a man in there. Hey, Cap, they say that we judging. And I Bring out that on judging. They say we judge. Get, get that righteous judgment. They come back. Yeah. Righteous judgment. What is it? <laughs> oh, I got you. I got you. We judge on righteousness. Hey, pull up. Hey, the Bible says righteous judgment. Hey, pull up. y'all stop? Get that word. Yeah, pull, pull right on over there. No, no, no. You gonna come learn? We not here to be taught. We out here to teach our people. We not here for nobody to teach us. We know what this book say. See that? They say they'll be back. Look what they did. Bring it out. The wicked flee. The wicked flee when no man pursue. The Bible say the wicked flee when no man pursue. <laughs> they gonna burn up two hundred dollars worth of gas riding around the circle. They don't want to hear this word. They don't want to hear this truth. Uh, no. If we were teaching prosperity teaching, they'd be on it. They'd be on it. We are here to take God love everybody. They can't go in this Bible and prove it. They love that there. But we can go in this Bible and prove it. That God, most high God don't love everybody. Everybody wouldn't give them the scriptures. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15. But he that is spiritual judges all things. What the Bible say? But he that is spiritual judges all things. Yet he himself judge of no man. Judge of no man. Sleep, sleep, sleep. Now I'm woke, woke, woke. I was deep in the pit, just shy of the rope. Say, ain't crafty, shy to test me for what Riley really had me. What? 